area of activity four, develop effective learning environments and approaches to student support and guidance. This is quite a challenging one. Um, what are learning environments? What are we talking about? And is this repeating what we were looking at earlier in learning and support, teaching and support? It's, it's the full range of environments. So it can be use of blackboard and shoe space, but it also can be the use of work placements, field trips, all those different areas that are part of the student experience and student learning. Um, it can also be where there is one-to-one -one student support. Um, so it may be working with um, a tutee, it may be guidance and counselling, it may be about working in the lab and developing those core skills that enable the student to then work in labs independently. Or it may be supporting students with learning disabilities. So use, use examples from your practice and utilise the learning environments that, that are relevant to you. So that may be a practical room or it may be um, a computer lab. It's whatever is appropriate to your practice. As I mentioned, it's an open and diverse interpretation and it's about the nature of the learning environment and the culture that's developed in that environment and how that impacts on how students learn but also sort of the change in your role from the academic to the pastoral interventions. So how do these different learning environments impact on your learners and you as an academic? Are they enabling? Do your learners understand and recognise the value and utilise the range of environments? For this particularly uh, it's about professional values, respect for individual learners and diverse learning communities and ensuring that they are um, appropriate for those students and promote participation in higher education and equal opportunity for learners. For instance if you're running a field trip and you have a diverse student group, is the field trip going to um, be accessible to all your students? Perhaps you have um, students with family commitments and have to make childcare arrangements or perhaps you have some uh, international students who may find it difficult going away with other members of the group and stopping overnight. Think about what impact that would have on those groups. And again there are resources to support this, learning environments, placements and this is really important for international students and this is a recent document. Um, there's a little bit in the code of practice regarding learning environments and there's a lot of um, information in about student support in terms of the code of practice chapter B4.